Hey everyone, today's book is Betty Bunny Wants a Goal, written by Michael B. Kaplan and illustrated by Stephanie Jorish. The publisher is Dial Books for Young Readers and the copyright date is 2014. Oh my goodness, she's supposed to be climbing on the net like that? Hmm, her coach doesn't look too happy. All right, here we go. Betty Bunny was a handful. She knew this because at her very first soccer practice, when she picked up the ball and ran away with it, her coach said, Betty Bunny, you are a handful. Betty Bunny knew she must be the star of the team for her coach to say something so great about her. That night at dinner, Betty Bunny could not stop talking about the next day when she would play her very first soccer game. I am going to score 10 goals, she announced. Just try your hardest and we'll be proud of you, Kate said. Do I really have to go to the game? Henry asked. It's soccer. There probably won't even be any goals, Bill added. There will be 10, Betty Bunny replied, and I'm going to score them. The next day, Betty Bunny's family was at the field to watch her play. Betty Bunny's friend Elise scored the first goal. Yay! Everyone cheered and clapped and patted Elise on the back. Betty Bunny was very sad. No one was cheering or clapping for her. Okay, my turn next, she called out. Betty Bunny tried her hardest to score a goal, but she tripped on the ball and landed oof, on her face. <laughs> she missed the ball completely and kicked her own foot. Ow! She hit the ball with her head, but that happened by accident when she wasn't even paying attention. Boing! Yeah, she did not score a single goal. I hate soccer! She yelled, soccer is yucky. She spent the rest of the game just sitting on the ground and picking grass. After the game, Betty Bunny's mother said, honey, it was just your first game. I'm sure your next game will be better. No, Betty Bunny replied. I'm never playing again. The moment they got home, Betty Bunny ran up to her room. She stuffed her uniform, cleats, and soccer ball into the trash can. As she was trying to push her soccer bedspread out the window, her brother and sister came into the room. Don't quit soccer, Kate said. Yeah, Henry added. Mom and Dad said, I can't play my video game until we try to talk you out of it. So you didn't have fun today. We didn't have fun watching you either, Bill said. Maybe next game will be better. Maybe you'll score a goal and maybe we won't even have to go. But you'll never score a goal if you quit now, Kate added. You have to keep trying. Kate told Betty Bunny about the time she learned to ride her bike. It was hard at first, but she didn't give up, and soon she could ride a bike. Henry told about the time he had trouble shooting spitballs. The first three spitballs missed the target, but he kept trying, and eventually he could nail Kate right in the back of the head. Bill told her about the time he talked his little sister out of quitting soccer. At first, she didn't even want to listen, but he kept trying 
until finally she agreed not to quit soccer. Oh, why did she agree? Betty Bunny asked. Because, uh, because, uh, Bill said, trying to think of a reason. Because, oh, at the end of the season, she'll get a trophy, no matter how bad she plays. Ooh, ooh, Betty Bunny had never had a trophy. I want a trophy, she said but I also want a goal. Then keep trying, Kate said. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Betty Bunny dug her uniform out of the trash can. Betty Bunny tried very hard to score a goal at her next game. Kick the ball now! Kate shouted. Uh, th that's a good idea, Betty Bunny yelled to Kate. But as she turned back to kick the ball, another girl was already doing it. Run faster, Henry shouted. Betty Bunny ran her very fastest right off the field into the parking lot. Oh, wait, that's not the right way. Just kick it in your own net, Bill shouted. A goal's a goal. The game ended, and Betty Bunny did not score a single goal, not even in her own net. It wasn't very good advice, was it? Hmm. On the drive home, Betty Bun Bunny moaned sadly. Oh... I tried and tried, just like you said. It's just two games. Don't give up, Kate said. Yeah, she's right, Henry added, knowing that his parents were listening. Uh, maybe you're just not that good, Bill suggested. Daddy, Bill said I'm just not that good, Buddy, Betty Bunny wailed. <laughs> Maybe he's right, Dad said. What? Everyone said. Dad explained. Well, trying is important, but if you want to get as good as something that you can, you also have to practice. And since Bill is the one who realized that, he is going to help Betty Bunny practice soccer every day after school. Oh, why can't I learn to keep my mouth shut, Bill said to himself. Maybe you need to practice, Betty Bunny suggested helpfully. For a whole week, Betty Bunny practiced soccer with Bill And at her next game, <gasps> Betty Bunny scored her very first goal. Everyone cheered. Yay, Betty Bunny! Woohoo! And clapped and patted her on the back. Next to the first time she ever tried chocolate cake, it was the happiest moment of her life. Woohoo! You see, her mother told her. If you keep trying and if you practice, there's nothing you can't do. Betty Bunny felt pretty good knowing there was nothing she couldn't do. And that is why, as they were getting into the car, she said, I want to drive home. Betty Bunny, <laughs> her mother said laughing, uh, you can't drive a car. Betty realized her mother was right. Yeah, she said. I have to practice first. Vroom, vroom. Oh, my. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that one. <laughs>